All right, Israel, Shalom, Shalom, I praise Abinawa, Yahweh, Bashem, Mashak, Yahweh, Bashem, Rakaka, Dash, peace and blessings to all the blood ones, by ties and covenant for remission of sins. And today I'm going to be responding to this guy, Isaiah Hibzaba, right? Sawyer, however you say his name, which uh, he has this video called Life After Death is a Myth. Reproducing children are the only afterlife for Adam. So this guy is the same guy that's claiming that be resurrected Isaiah and all his other nonsense. Then he's saying the only way you can uh, come back is uh, basically what he says, death is a myth. Reproducing children are the only afterlife. So you got to come back as a child, basically what he's saying. This dude bugging out. And I'm going to get in this video where he denied that the Lord's coming back. And he says uh, some other wild stuff that I got to catch. Oh, he said God didn't create man to be immortal too. So this guy is a Sadducee. He don't believe in the afterlife. See that? <clears throat> We're going to get that too. All right, when I get to that point. So let's keep it, let's keep it going. Greetings. Prophet Isaiah resurrected from the dead after 3,000 long years of sleep. And today's topic is reproduction and reproducing. I'd like to start this video off by saying Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, the root of King David. Is he coming back? No, he's already been transfigured to the spiritual plane. Is he coming back? No. So he denied that the Lord is coming back. That's wild. This is Lord and Savior, the root of King David. Is he coming back? No, he's already been transfigured to the spiritual plane. And now we're dealing with spiritual judgment. Y'all heard him, so y'all ain't saying I'm making it up. Is he coming back? No, he's already been transfigured to the spiritual plane. <laughs> and now we're dealing with spiritual judgment. And once again, today's topic... A lot of you dudes don't need to be teaching, man. Sit back and uh, learn, man. It's reproduction and reproducing. God gave Adam and Eve reproductive cells and reproductive organs to reproduce on this earth to be fruitful and multiply. In the creator's gene... Yes, to be fruitful and multiply. He knew that you weren't going to live forever. So he gave... Right. We wasn't going to live forever because of the envy of the devil. Death came into the world. If you're a reproductive seed, a biological seed to reproduce yourself and regenerate yourself on this earth. Right. You re... re uh, well, he said you regenerate yourself on this earth, which that's not uh, your youth uh, physically. Right? I mean, uh, mentally or physically, man, because that's your offspring. Your offspring, they're part of you, but they're not exactly you, man. Just like Yahweh Shai is not Yahweh. He's part of Yahweh. Okay? Hey, guys, Grant Cardone. Hope you're doing well today. Uh, here we are going into 2023. And it's going to be breakable for some and unbreakable. Let me go back to that. Israelites. Right. Like, we're Israelites, but we're not the uh, actual man in Israel reincarnated. Oh, I, I guess you the original Jacob coming back in resurrection. No, man. So let's keep it going. This is my last incarnation in the physical form. No, this ain't the video I wanted to see. What that one he bugging out? I'm just doing it on Slacker. Here we go. Here we go right here. Greetings, it's the prophet Isaiah resurrected from the dead after 3,000 long years of sleep. And today's topic is reproduction and reproducing. I'd like to start this video off by saying... This dude is sad to see y'all. He says life after death is a myth. So then how the hell can you be reincarnated or resurrected? You bugging out completely, bro. Like the Sadducees would say there is no resurrection. Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, the root of King David. Is he coming back? No, he's already been transfigured to the spiritual plane. And now we... He bugging out once again, say he ain't coming back. When the scripture says, shall he be revealed the second time without sin. Dealing with spiritual judgment. And once again, today's topic is reproduction and reproducing. God gave Adam and Eve reproductive cells and reproductive organs to reproduce on this earth to be fruitful and multiply. Yeah, that don't mean you multiplying and it's a million... Use no, those are your offspring. The scripture says a little one should become a thousand. So if your granddad's supposed to come back every three or four generations, then how the hell can a little one bring forth a thousand if 
your granddad is supposed to come back every three or four generations. That's clearly not your granddad coming back every three or four generations if a little one is becoming a thousand. And the creator's genius. He knew that you weren't going to live forever. So he gave you a reproductive... You know, his brothers that got three or... That 10, 10, 9, 8, 15 kids, man. Or children. I don't like saying kids. Kids represent devil. But his brothers that got seven, eight, nine, ten children, man. Boys. So can you say all their boys is their grandfathers? Or how many grandfathers they got if they got ten sons, man? Seed. A biological seed to reproduce yourself and regenerate yourself on this earth. And most people have destroyed their bodies so much so they can't reproduce a healthy child for their biological image to stay standing on this earth. God never intended for one man to live forever. That's God never intended for one man to live forever. Let's get the scriptures. Let's get the scriptures. This dude bugging, man. We have Wisdom of Solomon 2 and 23. For God created man to be immortal and made him to be an image of his own eternity. So I don't know what the hell this is he talking about. Let's go back. He bugging out completely. Logical image to stay standing on this earth. God never intended for one man to live forever. He looked like a fake Adam Abbott too, man. <laughs> Jake, you look like a fake Adam Abbott, bro. <laughs> That's why he gave you a biological reproducing cells. Children are the afterlife. There is no children are the afterlife. That's madness. Which the scripture does says uh, you have born one like yourself, but that don't mean that they're you. They're just the li your likeness. Just like we were made in the likeness of the Most High. That don't mean we the Lord thy God, bro. We're made in His likeness. Not that we're him, just like your children is made in your likeness, not that they're exactly you. We're made in, in likeness of Jacob and Adam. But are we Jacob or Adam? No. No life after death. It says, he said, ain't no life after death. Leave your biological reproducing cells. Children are the afterlife. There is no life after death. This is for a physical human being. There is no life after death. Y'all hear that? You die, that is it. Once you die, that is it. He's a damn Sadducee, man. He don't believe the resurrection for real. He said there is no life after death. Let's go to this. Let's see if, if that's in the scriptures. <clears throat> there is no life after death. Oh my God. <clears throat> if there is no life after death, what does this mean? Luke 12 and 5, but I will forewarn you whom ye shall fear. Fear him, which after he hath killed. So this is after you are already dead and gone and killed. Have power to cast into hell. Yeah, I say unto you, fear him, man. So the Lord can, he can, uh, he have the power to cast you into hell after you already did. This is the power of our God. There's nothing too hard for him, man. You know, but a lot of beloveds think this is too hard because they thinking with a logical mind, a, a logical curriculum, right? I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he have killed. So it says after he have killed, okay? What the hell does after mean, Israel? After he have killed. Not why you will fuck, not why you alive, man. This ain't talking about why you alive, bro. After he have killed, I'm gonna kill Right, to perish, destroy, to inflict mortal death. After he have done that, what? He have power, power of choice, liberty of doing as one please. The Most High has the power over mankind. He has power to cast, let's get the word cast, to throw in, to cast into. See that, don't just, eternal punishment, man. What it says to throw one, subject, eternal punishment, cash in two. The nuclear missiles is not eternal punishment. That's a that's a temporary judgment, man. For the brothers that believe that, <clears throat> that ain't eternal punishment. You have power to cash into Gehenna, man. Okay? 
Does not the scripture says the angel shall cast uh, some into the lake of fire? They shall be cast into outer darkness. Outer darkness is eternal eternal punishment, man. Okay. We'll go back to the cast. Because that cast word ain't no joke. He gonna cast, he have power to cast into hell, Gehenna. And whosoever was not found and written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's what the Lord has power to do that, man. See that? Let's see. Cast. What's the one I want? Okay, I guess I get it. Yeah, Revelation was the main one. All right, Revelations. Uh, what did I say? Revelations 20. 15, whosoever was not found written in the book of life was cast into the lake of fire. That's to Mount Gehenna, man. All right, these both were cast alive into a lake of fire, burning with brimstone. So guess what? You can get sent to the lake of fire like Korah did, man. Alive. Okay, get sent to that pit. Burn the hell up. Okay. That's where the angels took the rich man to Gehenna. Like a fire in Hades. Gehenna in Hades, right? We have Luke. Or, uh, what do I want to get? Let me get Matthew, I think. Because I want to get some of the precept with that he had power to cast into hell. Which we know that's what happens in the resurrection. Those that name ain't written in the book of life, they're cast into the lake of fire. Not cast into America, man. All right. Matthew. Where is it, Matthew? Sloppy. Looking for this verse. One second, y'all. Forgive me. See that? What he says, and if thy eye offend thee, pluck it out and cast it from thee. It is better for thee to enter into life with one eye rather than having two eyes to be cast into hell fire. That's after the Lord kills. He have power to do that. To cast into hell. See that? Cast into hell fire. Just like the rich man. You don't have to believe it. God damn it. You'll see it. If you don't believe it, you'll see it. Right? And it's time. The Lord gonna, gonna reveal it to you. Right? The scriptures tell you, you know, the people that, that don't understand this grace and despise it, you'll you'll find out after death this is fake. If this is fake or not, right? Which a lot of brothers is gonna have to wake up and have to refine this out in the spirit world the hard way. Because a lot of guys reject Hamashiach Yahushai words. His word have no place in them. Rather than having two hands or two feet to be cast into everlasting life. Fire sloppy. All right. Okay. Matthew 13, 48. And when it is full, they drew to shore and sat down and gathered good and vessels. But cast the bad away. The bad is getting cast away. They're not getting brought into the kingdom. See that? We have Matthew 13. Matthew 13 and 42. I'll start at verse 41. The Son of Man shall send forth his angels. They shall gather out of his kingdom all things that offend and them which do iniquity. See that? That's not them getting the kingdom in the presence of the Lord. You in the presence of the Lord. If you don't get the kingdom in the presence of the Lord, you're never getting the kingdom, man. And they shall cast them into a furnace of fire. There shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth, man. See that? That furnace of fire. What you think that furnace of fire they're going to cast them into? 
It's that Luke 12 and 5, man. Hell. Which, which the Lord has the power to do that. A lot of people don't believe because they have the Sadducees understanding. I will forewarn you whom you shall fear. Fear him which after he have killed. So this is not why you in the land of living. Have power to cast into hell. Did not that happen to the rich man? After the Lord killed him? He had power to cast him into hell? Okay. Didn't I say those that offend? Will he cast out of his kingdom into a, a, a furnace of fire, which is the lake of fire? So this is Luke 16, <clears throat> verse uh, 22. And it came to pass that the beggar died. Not a metaphor, he really died. And carried by the angels. So the angels came and got him after death. That's real. That's not no game. All right, angels... Uh, into Abraham's bosom. And a rich man also died and was buried. So the rich man died. Is he sitting next to the most high playing tic-tac-toe, man? Luke 16 and 23. And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torment. This is the same thing that uh, Luke 12 and 5 says, that after he have killed, he have power to cast into hell. This is what happened to the rich man. After he, he died, Right? He was buried. So after he was buried, where did the spirit go? And in hell, he lifted up his eyes. He didn't look down. Wait a minute. Why is he lifting up his eyes if he's supposed to be in heaven? If the rich man, everybody died and go to heaven and just chill in heaven, rich man made the resurrection, then why the hell is he looking up if he's in heaven? And in hell, he lift up his eyes, being in torments. So the Lord had power to cast him in hell after death. This bug out, as Isaiah do, he's really bugging out, saying there's no life after death. If there's no life after death, explain Luke 12 and 5 and Luke 16 and 23. Why those verses go together? Why are both, how was I saying he had power to, Put somebody in hell after they die, and why did after the rich man die, he was in torment in hell? Right? It says, and in hell he lift up his eyes, he had high eyes in the spirit realm, being in torments. Okay. Um it says B of those in hell after death, man, like the rich man. Was the rich man reincarnated? Did he say he can get out of, the, out of that room? I think not. Torture. Going to the bottom, baby. Okay. Let's go. It says, uh, and he cried and said, Father Abraham, have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water. Right? Well, remember, the scripture says the sea, it says death in hell and the sea gave up the dead. See that? This is where this guy is at. He's in Sheol, the dead, which there is, there's water down there and there's fire down there, man. Not just fire. Have mercy on me and send Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger in water and cool my tongue. For I am tormented in this flame, man. And that's part of the torment. You know, you not uh, your thirst not being quenched in the new covenant. Lord Yahweh Shai. I am tormented in this flame. So he's in the flame after death, cast into the fire in Gehenna, man. Let's see where he said anything about coming out of that and getting reincarnated out of that. Abraham says, son, remember that thou in thy lifetime, so the rich man in his lifetime, and it's a lifetimes, receiveth thy good things, and likewise Lazarus evil things, and now he is comforted and thou art tormented. This is after death. That's why it says in the Apocrypha, there shall no torment come unto the righteous. So did the torment come unto the rich man? Was he alive? Is he not? He's talking after death and conscious. Right? 
And besides this, between us and you, there's a great gulf, right? He separated the wicked from the righteous after death, the, the, uh, right? In, 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 in uh, Hades, because it tell you death and hell gave up the dead. So the dead is in Hades, whether wicked or righteous. So that they which would pass from hence to you cannot, neither can they pass us that would come from thence. So you're not reincarnating your way out of that. Then he said, I pray thee, therefore, Father, that thou would send him to my father's house. For I have five brethren that they may testify unto them, lest they also come into this place of torment. You don't want to go to that place of torment where the rich man was. He didn't come out of it as a baby. Abraham said to him, they have Moses and the prophets. Let them hear them. He said, nay, Father, but if one went unto them from the dead, they will repent. See that? Every, all these brothers claiming that they didn't die, they came back. Well, why are people having repented? He said unto them, if they will not hear Moses and the prophets, neither will they be persuaded, though, when rose from the dead. So they don't even believe Yahweh Shah. When Yahweh Shah rose from the dead, like Yahweh Shah told you that the rich man was tormented in the fire, in the flame, and that in Luke 12 and 5, that he had power to do that after you die. So there is life after death. Unless you don't believe Luke 12 and 5. And that's not talking about on earth, coming back as a baby or none of that. It ain't talking about Monotazak's BS doctrine that hell is having a one-inch penis and hell is uh, erectile dysfunction. Yahweh ain't talking about that in Luke 12 and 5. He said, after he have killed, have power to cast into hell. Ain't that what happened to the rich man? Okay. Let's go back. This dude bugged out completely. These Adam, Adam, a fake Adam, a bot demon. Fake Adam, a bot demon, bro. You need to repent, brother, and come get in this new covenant, man. Wake the hell up so you can be guided correctly. Because you have a curriculum, and I know this curriculum you learned came from one west. Greetings. It's the prophet Isaiah resurrected from the dead after 3,000 long years of sleep. And today's topic is reproduction and reproducing. I'd like to start this video off by saying Jesus Christ is Lord and Savior, the root of King David. Is he coming back? No, he's already been transfigured to the spiritual plane. Wow. And now we're dealing with spiritual. Say the Lord ain't coming back. Judgment. And once again, today's topic is reproduction and reproducing. God gave Adam and Eve reproductive cells and reproductive organs to reproduce on this earth to be fruitful and multiply. In the creator's genius, he knew that you weren't going to live forever. So he gave you a reproductive seed, a biological seed to reproduce yourself and regenerate yourself. And Yahweh is not Adam. Yahweh created Adam. Remember, the scriptures tell you that he created all things through Yahweh So when Adam was created, that was actually Yahweh creating Adam. Yahweh wasn't creating himself as Adam. Okay. And Yahweh isn't Adam because Adam got deceived by the devil. So that would mean Yahweh Shai got deceived by the devil according to your reincarnation doctrine. Earth. And most people have destroyed their bodies so much so they can't reproduce a healthy child for their biological image to stay standing on this earth. That's madness, bro, because Yahweh Shai said there's some people that are born eunuchs. Okay? Some people are, were born into that and can't have babies. Just like Hannah was bearing for a, a, a season. But the Lord opened her womb, man. It's not about they destroyed their body. Some people are born that way. Or like my cousin, he can't have babies. But the brother's clearly in good health and in shape. God never intended for one man to live forever. He never intended for one man to live forever. So he don't believe in immortality in the new covenant. And he don't believe in the resurrection. And he don't believe Adam was created to be immortal. That's why he gave you a biological reproducing cells. He gets, so he gave you children. No, that's not why, bro. We're going to be immortal in the kingdom and one show become a thousand. If you, if you have a thousand children, that's not reincarnation. That's not, oh, my granddad and came back as my, as my son, bro. Stop it. Children are the afterlife. There is no life after death. This is for a physical human being. There is no life after death. He's a Sadducee, clearly. Okay? I want to get the Sadducee in the, in the uh, 
blue letter. So he said there is no afterlife. He said the only afterlife is uh coming back as a baby. He bugged out, bro. So he don't believe in the rich man. He don't believe in Yahweh Shah's words concerning the rich man. And he don't believe in Yahweh Shah's word when he spoke on Luke 12 and 5. Which, uh, that's because he's been following the curriculum of the Sadducees, which don't believe there's an afterlife. That Sadducees don't believe in the afterlife. You see that? Sadducees equal the righteous, right? Which they were supposed to come back to the, uh, to the Levites. A lot of the Sadducees go back to the priests, the Levites. Uh, Zadok, right? And that's where you get Sadducee, which is supposed to go back to Zadok or uh, Levites, the righteous, a religious party at the time of Christ among the Jews who denied that the oral law was a revelation of God, right? Because a lot of that oral law stuff go back to like uh, the elders' doctrine, like them GMS doctrines when they'll tell you, you know, different stuff, but they don't have it. In, they don't have it written anywhere. It just be coming straight out their mouth. That's like oral law. And GMS do a lot of that. And a lot of brothers that was taught the curriculum of GMS, they teach a lot of those oral laws, like the two-thirds coming back in the kingdom. Every time you'll see GMS say that, they'll never have a scripture on it. And watch, I'm about to start pointing brothers out when they do that, too. When they say that there's no, uh, the two-thirds is coming back in the kingdom, they never pull out a verse. They just start talking and rambling. That's that oral law nonsense. Which I'm, I'm probably gonna find some videos on people doing that nonsense soon, and whom deemed the written a law alone to be obligatory, uh, obligatory on a nation as divine authority. They denied the following doctrines. This is how you know a Sadducee: the resurrection of the body. The Sadducees don't believe that the body will be resurrected like Yahweh Shai and transformed into an immortal body. Right, immortality of the soul. Like, like this guy said that after you die, there's nothing else. <clears throat> right? Sadakian. See, that's why you see Sadducee, it says Sadakian, which means they're the sons of Zadok, uh, those Levites, a certain heretical Israelite. See that? This is how we know you heretics. Y'all made manifest. The scripture says they which are approved may be manifest. And the ones that's not, we can see you in your doctrine. You don't believe in the resurrection of the body, nor do you believe in mortality of the soul. You don't believe that there's life after death. That's this guy. He bugged out. Let me go again. Fake Adam Abad demon. Fake, I wish I was Isaiah in the reincarnation and resurrection demon. Shit. <laughs> you know? their bodies so much so they can't reproduce a healthy child for their biological image to stay standing on this earth god never intended for one man to live forever that's why he gave you a biological reproducing cells that's madness the most i said through the devil came death so man you bugging out bro and the most High created man to be fruitful and multiply in their immortality he didn't uh create, be fruitful and multiply just because people was going to die. No, that was the intention even in immortality. That's why even in the kingdom, a little one should become a thousand. That's not your granddad coming back every three, four hundred generations. These are different souls, man. And I got a verses too. Proving children are the afterlife. That there are children that haven't even been born on this earth, man. All right, I got the verse. And I can dare, I dare anybody, goddammit, out there to dis, dis, disprove it. Because you ain't going to be able to, man. All right? There is no life after death. This is for a physical human being. There is no life after death. Once you die, that is it. We just seen this. Uh, the Sadducees doctrine says they deny the resurrection and immortality of the soul. You don't believe that the soul lives on after death. You believe that after you die, it's a wrap. It ain't nothing else. It just, it's just, it. And most of you people are just down here wasting your time. He, he bugged out, boy. I bet he think he, he <laughs> Jake, Jake, boy, Jake crazy. Jake is crazy.